Paris today, they're achieving great things in the air and doing it with the smallest and lightest. The frames of these model planes are made of balsa, a South American wood noted for its remarkable lightness. The struts are joined with lacquered muslin and none of the models weighs more than a quarter of an ounce. Being so light and well balanced, the balsa machines can make magnificent slow flights for anything up to seven minutes. From Paris too come some new ideas in hats. They may be a little freakish, but they're fashionable. And ribbons are well to the front. Yes, hats like turbans are the latest frivolity, but the turbans will not oust the pancake type. And veils are more ornamental than ever. The favorite decoration is a large butterfly, or maybe two. Among the ladies who won't bother very much about the new hats are these Tyrolean peasants but they are concerned about their curlers, not the ones for the hair, but the ice. Every year they shoulder these large, smooth woods and set off for the curling championship. Here we are then, and what excitement. Another hefty swing, and whether it's rinking or drinking, these girls put their backs into it, and rivalry is keen. These are the rolling woods that gather no moss, but they do gather a crowd, and the game does at least exercise the arm that wields a pretty rolling pin. But even more exciting than curling is ice yachting, so we'll drop in at the last regatta of the New Jersey USA Club. Stiff breezes send the boats skimming over the course, responsive to every twist of the tiller. A sudden gust of wind might catch the pilot off his guard and capsize his craft before he could loosen the sheets. It's a nerve-straining job to keep control and a moment's daydream might make all the difference between a thrill and a spill. But the risk is more than half the fun. The ice yacht glides along on its smooth runners, the sport of the wind, and for some, the grandest sport in the world. 